tying together, you see total control of government over the world, depopulation, etc. And this also ties in with someone that Obama has on his staff, John Holdren, John H-O-L-D-R-E-N, Holdren. Obama's science czar, something he wrote in the 70s, says forced abortions and mass sterilization are needed to save the planet, from a book he authored in 77. It's called A Planetary Regime. You see, he wants a planetary regime to, to be brought in, you should say, um, with the power of life and death over American citizens. It says, the tyrannical fantasies of a madman are merely the opinions of the person now in control of science policy in the United States for the government, or both madmen or, tyrann- or tyrants, which is it, or both. Back with more on this uh, dualistic character after this break. Cutting through the matrix. Everyone should be terrified when you see who's being appointed because it's no coincidence that I start off with one Sotomayor and her comments and go through the other techniques of, you know, we must all sacrifice to save the world and so on, uh, and then finish off with John Holdren, who wrote a book in the 1977 uh, where he advocated extreme totalitarian measures to control the population by abortion, etc., and sterilization. It says, uh, these ideas, among many others, equally horrifying recommendations. This is from Zom- the zombie blog. It's quite good. Uh, were put forth by John Holdren, whom Barack Obama has recently appointed director of the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy. Policy, remember. Assistant to the President for Science and Technology and co-found, co-chair of the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology and formerly known as the United, United States Science Czar. They're using all these post-democratic terms now. In a book Holden co-authored in 77, the, main, the man now firmly in control of science policy in this country wrote that women could be forced to abort their pregnancies whether they wanted to or not. The population at large could be sterilized by infertility drugs intentionally put into the nation's drinking water or in food. He's missed out injections there because they've already been doing that. Single mothers and teen mothers should have had their babies seized from them against their will and given away to couples to raise, to other couples to raise. People who contr- contribute to social deterioration, that's the undesirables. I've read the, the, the Cold Springs Harbor from the Eugenics Association that the Rockefellers and Carnegie's were into. That's what they called it too. The undesirables can be required by law to exercise reproductive responsibility. In other words, to be compelled to have abortions or be sterilized. A transnational, the international planetary regime could assume control of the global economy. How will they do that? Through saving the environment. Of course, he doesn't say that, but that's what it is. And also dictate the most intimate details of Americans' lives using an armed international police force. It is impossible, you say, this must be an exaggeration or a hoax. No one in their right mind would say such things. That's why they get away with it. We can't understand the psychopath who's a real fanatic, the fanatical psychopath. Well, I hate to break the news to you, but it's no hoax, no exaggeration. John Holden really did say these things, and this report contains the proof. Below you'll find photographs, scans, transcriptions of pages in the book, Ecoscience, that's what he called it. The book is called Ecoscience by John Holdren, co-authored in 77 by John Holdren and his close colleagues Paul Ehrlich. Remember Paul Ehrlich, that wonder guy who also talked about the coming Ice Age, and Anne Ehrlich. The scans and photos are provided to supply conclusive evidence that the words attributed to Holdren are unaltered and accurately transcribed. The report was originally inspired by this article in Front Page magazine, which covers some of the same information given here. Then it goes on and on and on about what it contains. But you see the pages, you'll see the direct quotes from John Holdren's Ecoscience. It's amazing. It's amazing. For instance, it's got compulsory abortions would be legal. Compulsory. It says, indeed, it has been concluded that compulsory population control laws, even including laws requiring compulsory abortion, could be sustained under the existing constitution if the population crisis became sufficiently severe to endanger the society. Who decides that? Guess who? Probably the same types that that this, uh, the one I started with, the Supreme Court judge Ginsburg, was talking about the Supreme Court, if it's their policy. 
democracy, I suppose. That's how it's really done, isn't it? Why are we in trouble? And Hitler is a boy scout compared to the, the ones who are dominating the countries and they're all working together on the same agenda in these days of change. That's it for tonight. So from Hamish to myself, from Ontario, Canada, where the sun never shines except for a couple of days in the year, it's good nights and may your God or your gods go with you.